So, just as the title says, we're going to add a second forest to the original forest that we have in AD, AD Connect and sync two forests to one tenant without any trust in place. So here we can see AA co-users and AA co-users are synced. Those groups I wanted synced are there. Watch my other video for uh, positive sync rules. And let's look at some custom domains. So my AACO users are logging in as AACO online for a UPN suffix. I've gone ahead and registered and verified BBCO online, the uh, UPN suffix for the other forest or domain that we're going to add to sync. So here's sync running just with AACO to the JJB Labs uh, tenant. We're going to stop the sync scheduler so we don't have anything run while we try to do setup. Actually, you must stop the scheduler to run setup. Let's take a look at BB Co. And in BB Co, we have some users we want to sync. About 15 of them. And good thing we've already verified that domain. They'll be able to log in. But we don't need a separate instance of Azure AD Connect. In fact, you can't have more than one instance of Azure AD Connect synchronizing to the same tenant. All right, let's get to work. So we run the setup for Azure AD Connect. When you install it, it always leaves that shortcut on your desktop. We're going to do a custom synchronization options. Log in as the cloud administrator. Okay, we're going to add BBCO as a forest here. Now remember, the trust is not in place. So we're going to use BBCO administrator account to create a service account in BBCO to perform the sync of BBCO to the JJB Labs tenant. I'll just show you the trusts are not there. Now, underlying all of this, you must have DNS working. Uh, and if there's any child domains, uh, any non-contiguous domains in the uh, opposing forests, you have to make sure there's complete name resolution for any child domains in the forest, even if you're not syncing objects from some of those domains. I've run into that in the past. Yeah, no trust. You will need the trust later for the Active Directory migration tool. We'll do some migrating in another video. Okay, so we're adding that forest. It's happy. Okay, we 
can see bbco online is verified the local upn suffix um, we're just going to click this tick box here to ignore that warning we're not logging in users with the local upn suffix okay we can see here we want to do some ou selections we're going to select all the users in the sync ou we have password hash synchronization and password write back enabled Eh, I don't usually run synchronization immediately after setup. I like to poke around, make sure everything's right. But we'll just do that for grins in this video. Cutting out some paint drying scenes. Good time to remind you to subscribe, like, and share on my YouTube channel. Okay, configuration's complete. Let's go see what happens next. Now, because I ticked that ticks box, it will run a sync even though the scheduler is disabled. So we can see uh, full import for BB call because that uh, connector was empty. Uh, we're adding 18 objects, the OUs and the 15 users. Doing some syncs here. Okay, we're waiting to see the export from uh, AD to the cloud. We can see the BBCO full sync shows 15 projections. You know, let's watch and see if they get exported. Whoa, here we go. All right, so it did add 15 objects. Are these the objects we're looking for? Indeed they are. Let's go to the cloud and see what happened. Drum roll, please. Yeah, we knew that. Okay, there we go. PB Co users. Two forests, same tenant, no trust in AD. Thank you very much.